Breakfast with Ali Clark. Weekdays from 6 on ABC Radio Adelaide. And joining us is Tammy Franks, Greens MLC. And this week, uh, Greens will introduce a bill to legalise cannabis. Tammy Franks, do you really think there is appetite for this in South Australia? Absolutely, Ali. It's high time we legalised cannabis. Um, and I think South Australians are ready for it. I'm not sure the Parliament was expecting it, but I think if we had the conversation and uh, if we put it out to the people, we will come back in this next Parliament and under the next government, I believe, with a, a sensible system that recognises that prohibition has failed, uh, that there's a lot of money to be made and we could take it out of the pockets of crime syndicates and put it into uh, the tax coffers for South Australia and indeed invest it in health and stop criminalising people, um, particularly those... Uh, who seek cannabis as medicine, that's the worst of the uh, war on drugs that is really a war on people when we criminalise sick people. So it's a win-win, I think, and the ACT has led the way. Victoria is taking a look at it, but we could be the first state to move that way, to have food, wine and weed from our clean, green environment as a tourist attraction. And so you think that that would be a a tourism draw card, you know, South Australia, the weed state on all of our licence plates and stuff? Well, we wouldn't put it on the licence plates. It is is, uh, the festival state and indeed we do uh, promote our offerings and uh, we have no uh, compunction in um, in our fine wine industry and we know that weed grows here very well uh, and we also know that people consume weed. That is actually the reality. Prohibition is a failed policy, so let's get real. So what changes would you make? Would you be able to buy it at a restaurant or just consume it at home with your with your friends? I mean, how would you change yeah. the law? The bill that I'm uh, introducing is uh, would set up what would be called the Cannabis Licensing Agency and that would take charge. It would be in some ways, if people wanted to imagine, a bit like liquor licensing. So you'd need a licence for any commercial operations, whether that's uh, production, manufacture or uh, distribution, retail. However, there'd also be a home grow component um, of up to six plants as well. So it, uh, for those personal use, adult use, there would be that option as well. It's very much an industry that would be restricted to adult use right. and have prohibitions on advertising, on where it could, um, you know, licensees could operate, uh, not at new schools and childcare centres and the like as well as, uh, you know, not Mm. being able to be consumed by minors in those environments. Just quickly, uh, Tammy Franks, you're not going to have a vote this side of the election? That You just put the bill up and it'll... No, I'm I'm proposing to put the bill on the agenda for this state election. I believe the people of South Australia might actually be able to have a quick word with Mm. their local candidates and uh, MPs to be elected. And then uh, as the ACT has taken a small step, hopefully we could take a stride forward in getting real about drugs in this state.